let's see how we can create the proxmox uh, vm templating so create the templates from the virtual machines are convert the virtual machine as a template so in order to do the templating so we have to do some steps in order to convert as a template so let's see so what we can do the steps here so the process uh, here first of all we have to update the host name to a generic name so any generic name like example like local host at local domain something like you have to update the uh, to the generic name or maybe you can say that template dash uh, local host something like that so that it gives you a generic name so that you can understand that okay it is generated from the template something like that and uh, clear the machine id so the machine id should not be same um, for the each virtual machine whenever you create it so it will automatically create the machine id if you generate the new virtual machine so deletion is the problematic uh, next boot uh, so that's why you can clear the machine id but you do not delete this uh, machine id file um, delete ssh keys uh, so the host keys can be auto generated or you can generate uh, whenever you want so that you can delete those host keys uh, it should not be uh, all same for the all the virtual machines or what are the containers all this stuff and replace the if config example the prefix and the net marks values uh, may be prefer to set as a dhcp values and uh, remove all of the static ip details and everything and just keep it the plain dhcp uh, examples in the configuration is place okay and edit the network configuration and remove unnecessary values uh, example the mac address all this stuff and delete all the log files so does not require the log file does not require uh, if you keep all the log files and everything so the size of the template goes high so uh, you don't want the template to be a bigger size uh, it should be as small as uh, footprint should be small as like so you have to delete all the log files whatever not required data and clean up the everything and uh, applications if you have anything um, you can also wipe them off install the what guest agent uh, common or you can also install cloud init or anything uh, for converting this uh, template and complete any additional desired configurations or installations so example say that you wanted to ready for any application purpose you just make those application dependencies uh, ready on that and run this is config so that it will create the host specific information then power the power of the virtual machine so before that you can just clean all the uh, if, you, if it is a centos or rgl then clean the m repository uh, data and if it is a ubuntu then you can just clean this apt data the cage all the caging stuff you can just remove off convert the virtual machine to the template and deploy the virtual machine using the template so this is the process let's uh, go ahead and see how we can do the same on the vm see my container is created successfully and you can go to the container and start the container here so I go to the console and see the container is created and let's log into the container so after that i just go to run and run the m update so that it will update any packages if any so it does not update any that's okay fine and uh, so what you have to do is that few things you have to check the first of all that host name so you have to update the host name set host name and uh, maybe you can set it up a generic one local host dot local domain iphone iphone static okay so after that you can just verify your uh, uh, network settings sysconfig network scripts if cfg it is zero you can see here this should not be any a uh, static entry over here so just remove this static entries if it's a uh, within the same network that would be fine so dhcp is fine 
and the UID and the sort the details are fine and that's fine okay so now let's clear the machine ID slash etc machine ID here so let's clear that and uh, if you have uh, any application installed on this you can just uh, wipe those applications off then uh, remove all this log files if you have any so I don't want all of these logs to create the much space so uh, my VM should be a slim not um, as big as okay so that's why I'm just going to delete uh, everything from here so these are the logs i don't want actually because these are the old logs this will be regenerated again and uh, hw key log last log mail log messages secure spooler w -temp. so these are all i don't want and slash etc ssh so if you have any keys over here you can just delete them as well so we can create later the the host case okay so now my host keys are this deleted and log files everything is deleted and you can just uh, clean the m data so there is no caging data to be show stored over here and you can see that so overall disk is 8 GB in size and out of it uh, 9 GB used and uh, nothing is there okay sys unconfig you can run if you have this unconfig or uh, if this utility is not there you can just skip it and power off your virtual machine So connection closed you can see that the container is switched off now what you can do is simply right click on that container and say convert to template and say yes I can see that the convert template is okay you can see that this is becoming a contain now you can see that that is becoming a template you can see so template has a different icon over here you can see this is also a template has different icon so if you want to launch any virtual machine out of it you can simply say launch are the clone and you can say its container id and uh, i say centos 8 cnt1 and it's going to be a full and where is the storage so select the storage pool here where you would like to and say clone so now I can say it will take a few minutes so I can see this is coming up which is completed you can create it now so let's switch on and open the console and see you could able to access the template just try to access the virtual machine and host name and IP address so all is working fine so you can access the machine and verify it so that's how you can simply clone the containers from the container tempo for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications